Hey everyone, Craig from Chasing, and today we're here to talk about the Dory, how to set it all up, and how to work inside the app. I'll show you some features and functions in the app, and it's a really simple plug and play app. It's not very difficult. There's a few things that I do wanna like kind of focus on, and that would be the photo filters and actually how to download your footage to your phone. So let's go ahead and get started, and how we'll get started is we will start by um, turning on the Dory. Go ahead and plug it in. Turn the coupling a couple times, nice and tight, we're good. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the buoy. And with that, we will have power. The lights turn on, and then we're gonna get a second ignition. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and look here to our app, our settings, and go ahead and find the Dory as soon as it pops up, and go ahead and we'll be able to get into the app. And here comes Dory, boom. Now, if you guys are doing this for the first time, there's gonna be a password. That password is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, join, and you're good to go. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go to our app. I'm gonna show you a couple things really quickly here with the, the app. And the first thing is the toolbar up at the top. This is for updates, firmware, hardware. Always check that just to see if there's a new update because we're gonna make this thing greater and greater and greater as time goes on. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And then we'll go to the other toolbar. And if I wanna delete my memory, all I have to do is hit that right now. It will clean out the whole 16 gigabyte card that sits inside Dory. We'll go uh, to the back to the front screen. And the front screen is where my media is. Now, this is a couple of photos and video, or actually just two photos and one video that I shot earlier. But what I'm gonna show you is really cool. So if you hit the photo, that's a picture of actually the pole in the pool. What I can do with this is either hit this button and send it to Facebook, Instagram, or to my moments, or I can go in here and hit the filter system. Now, if I hit the filters here, it's gonna give me all kinds of different filters once I hit this. Um, if I can get it, there we go. Now we have like about, I don't know, it looks like about 20 to 25 different filters. I can change colors, I can make it all kinds of cool, just like Instagram. I also have a magic wand cropping, and also um, what they call a splash, where you can actually push little splashes onto the um, actual uh, image that you have. So now that we've seen that, let's go back. And now we'll go into the actual app. So first I'm gonna hit start. And there we go, we have our camera, we can see Pearl, she's sitting there being a good girl. Look at over there, here Pearl, there you go, good job. All right, now, this red light here on the left is going to be, or uh, the red uh, lock button is going to be your lights. Now, if I turn the drone on, I can hit that, turn the lights on, turn the lights off, and then turn the drone back off. Now, I highly suggest you guys at home, do not turn this drone on when it's not in water. You will seize the motors because it needs water to work properly. So don't start this if you're at home outside of water, please. Okay. The next thing is L for low speed, which is about 0.5 knots, and then high for high speed, which is about 1.7 knots. In the middle is obviously to turn the drone on and off. Um, you're gonna have virtual joysticks here. Every time you touch the screen, so like look, I'll show you guys real quick. Touch the screen, touch the screen, the virtual joysticks pop up. The joystick for me that I have personally set up on the left is going forward, backward, left and right. On the right is your dive up and dive down motors, okay? So that is it, it's really simple. All you do is touch and you are ready to go. On the top you have your satellites, your Wi-Fi, and then the battery of the drone. Right now I'm at 98%. Right below that is where you're gonna take a picture. So I'm gonna take a picture of Pearl real quick. Boom, we just shot the picture of Pearl. And right below that is our video start and stop. So we'll go ahead and take a short video of Pearl and then press stop. And then right below that is where you're gonna hit to go live. The little TV is your live broadcasting button. And so basically I can go to Facebook, YouTube, or even use the HTTP feature through the Dory app. So at this time, I don't wanna mess with that because it's gonna kill my screen recording, so I'll turn that off. Next is the most important feature on this drone, and that is your tilt. So that is meaning to get the, the drone to go up, the forget to go drone down and hold its position, okay? So this little slide bar is what's gonna do that. 
Obviously it's not in water right now, so I can't get it to do exactly what I want. But if you just slide it up, that's gonna be tilting up. If you slide it down, that's gonna be tilting down. And then right in the middle is level. So those are the little features and functions that this app has. It's a very easy plug and play app. Now what I'm gonna do is go into the settings. So the top toolbar on the right is gonna be your settings bar. Go ahead and start with the control settings. And now we have two different. We have Japan hand, USA hand, or custom hand. I use custom hand because I like to set up my drone exactly how I feel comfortable driving it. You guys may want to do it completely different than I, but for me, it's a really simple right hand goes up and down, left hand forward, backward, left or right. Okay, so now let's go to the next setting. And this is going to be the ROV settings. These are all your calibrations. So you have accelerometer, compass, depth, level, and sensor. Basically for me, I calibrate my underwater drones once a month. And unless you're taking it on an airplane, that's gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to do immediately after you land and go for your first dive because that elevation is going to mess with the compass and the accelerometer. Um, and then next, this is going to be our formatting feature. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and close that. So this is the camera format. So if I want to completely wipe everything clean, I just hit format. It says I have 14.96 gigabytes left. That's basically a 16 gig card set in there. So some of the video that I just did and some of the photos has taken about a gigabyte. And then at the bottom is your basic uh, settings for about and switching to US units. So if you're on a metric, slide it to the left. If you want US metrics, you slide it to the right. Okay, so right now in this room, it says it's 83.9 degrees Fahrenheit and we're at 0.12 feet. And we're, we're at that because we're sitting on a glass table. Now, if I was outside and the drone was on the ground, it would say zero, okay? But because we're on the glass table, we're so showing signs of that we are 0.12 feet underwater, but we're really not. So, very simple, very easy. I mean, a kid can do it. My 10 year old has this thing mastered. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And if you guys have any comments or any questions or any concerns, leave those below. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. This is Craig signing off. Say bye, Pearl. She didn't want to say anything. See you guys.